Hey guys, uh, finally got the engine on a stand. Some of it tore apart, nothing you know, major or anything, but uh, I got the water pump all made and everything off of it so I can check the uh, numbers to see because I was curious if it was the original motor that came with the truck and uh, according to what numbers I can find to match the van, it is the uh, original motor that was in the truck. The reason I checked is because it looked, I was trying to find a spot you can see. Uh, where some of it it's like this motor's been painted a couple different times looks like uh, it had some blue on it then it had orange and then it looks like someone had it out and repainted it black which you can kind of see on the heads but uh, no biggie it looks like the freeze out plugs from what I can tell through all the grease I managed to get off of it the freeze out plugs have already been replaced so I don't know if uh, I replace them or not. I might. I got. I bought the kit for it, so I might as well. I did find this though. This kind of sucks. I'm trying to get that out or not. This was on. Well, obviously the driver's side of the block. I noticed that when I got it out, so I didn't see a uh, temperature sending unit for it at first. But it was. Uh, so I seen this one. This plug. I was going to buy the the kit. You know, for the oil pressure, temperature, and uh, voltage, you know, just like a little three gauge kit you can get for like $25. I got to looking at it, it looks like someone's uh, ratchet busted off in there. So I'm hoping uh, I can get something on there to get that out and uh, be able to put a unit in it. And uh, the one on the other side is for the actual, it's like the <coughs> heat unit it was, uh, for the sending unit, it is, it, it's busted. So that kind of sucks, but uh, it uh, hoping it'll clean up well. I saturated this thing actually, I already power washed this thing once, and it's after it seemed like you could tell when it was in the truck, but after I got it out, you couldn't really tell. And I used uh, you know, top of the line degreaser on it. I went and got uh, a couple cans of uh, oven cleaner try that I hit it last night let it soak for quite a few hours and just getting home from work so there's orange silicone and um, you know fire up the pressure pressure washer which ought to be nice and fun since it's like 50 some degrees out in the winds blowing but uh, I was right when I looked it is a uh, the 397010 block 350 it's the factory motor for the truck and if I remember right it is a two bolt main I haven't had the oil pan I mean, we changed the pan gasket on it once when we first got the truck but i'm pretty sure it's a two two bolt block so <laughs> she runs good but uh, i didn't the other thing i noticed was you can see in there i have a spare flywheel but uh this one the teeth i don't know if you guys can see in there or not you can see where the teeth there's a couple spots where the they're all chipped up but i have a that little short block i got it's got a good one on it so i'll take it off and put it on before i put it back in but uh I'll hold you up on uh, fire this power washer up and uh, see if I can get some of this grime off of it and uh, I'll check back in with you later. I did find one issue with the intake. And yeah, it's showing up it's showing up or not. Right there. Crack. Right in the water jacket. Somebody must have over tightened that up. Yeah, it wasn't leaking before, so I don't know how much longer that'll hold up, but I can't complain. Only I picked the, that intake up for, uh, it's just an old Edelbrock Performer. Picked it up at the junkyard when they had a sale. I think it was like uh, seven bucks. Yeah, Performer, old Edelbrock Performer. So this is like only a seven dollar investment. So no big loss there if I can't get it. I'm sure there's a way you probably fix that. I don't know if JB Weld or something would hold it, but uh, I don't know. Give me something to look up on the internet, but. Actually, some of more of it came off, uh, so hopefully it don't uh, just rush straight up from being uh, wet. But so I'm wondering if if I heat that up, if I can get it out with a uh, like a pipe, small pipe wrench or something, we'll get that out. Uh, but it definitely cleaned up. I mean, this black paint, so it's still it's hard to tell. But so it's, I mean, you can see the now you can see the orange and you know black on the heads and everywhere else so it's definitely been painted a couple times and uh valve covers obviously one's blue and black the other one's orange and black 
and we'll get all that straightened up. At least it came clean enough to where I can, uh, <clears throat> once I warm up, I can uh, flip it around and uh, hit it with a wire wheel, get the rest of it off. And as I was saying, you can see, you can see the freeze out plugs now, and things are like bright silver. And so, even the ones in the back, looks like they put some kind of compound on them. If you can see in there, but like a sealer. I know I've used silicone on them before. Just, you know, smear around them a little bit to help it slide in. That almost looks like an old, uh, I think it's called an Indian head or something like that. People used to use back in the day. But, uh, we'll get to messing with it. And, uh, the frame. Still got to, want to get a lot of that. I have to plug the hoses off so I don't spray down into them. But, uh, get a good blaster in here and for something to soak it in maybe try some of that uh, uh, oven cleaner on it and see how it does it seemed to work pretty good on that block so we'll soak it down real good and give it a good blast hopefully that'll help out some but I am definitely freezing my tail off now so I don't know if I'll be able to mess with it today but if not Saturdays in a couple of days and it's supposed to be 73 degrees and it's gonna be one of the last nice days we get here in Ohio from what they're saying so I do what I can to get everything straightened out so this one's nice and new too so they put something on it before they put it in peeling off but uh other than that nothing special just an old 350 Chevy uh, so I started thinking of something else, but I did get, I don't have them out here with me, but I picked up, I uh, went to Jags. we have a local Jags here in Columbus, and went up and got uh, the Moroso, the solid steel shaft that goes from the, from the distributor down to the oil pump, picked that up, picked up the uh, one piece uh, for the oil pan gasket, picked up the, the rubber one piece that has the uh, inserts in it to keep you from crushing it. Picked up that that style oil pan gasket and got the, the brass freeze out plug kit for it. So now I'm debating on whether or not to put them in or not. I still might. And what else did I get? I thought there was something else I got too. Oh, I can't remember now. It's been a few days. Like I was saying, the flywheel. All right, I have another flywheel for it on that other on that short block. So that's no big deal. The heads, I'm guessing, are most likely nothing special. Probably just standard truck heads. But I'll run the numbers on them and find out. And I'll try to see if there's an easy way to get that out. The only thing I can, or unless I can get some, you know, like a some kind of a punch or something in there to chip away at that to open it back up. Must have been a Taiwan ratchet or something that might just might be able to pop that out with something. But uh, other than that, guys, thanks for watching. This video was more for I'm trying to figure out the um, editing on some software we bought. So this video is more for that because I'm sure you know everybody's seen a 350 Chevy. So <clears throat> this video is actually more for that than it is for this. But uh, the motor did clean up good. And once I get started on it, getting everything in, I will make a video of that so you guys can check it out see how bad I screwed something up and uh, thanks for watching I appreciate it and uh, we got some other stuff we're gonna get into as soon as I get time so there's some uh, some people was wanting to see because I got a couple chainsaws and a couple other odds and ends they's wanting to see and uh, so we'll get to them you just have to give me time bear with me it's been working a lot of hours and it's hard to get some free time but uh Thanks for watching, and this will be my first time trying to edit something, so I'm trying to get a couple of different odds and ends together for one video, so I'll do the best I can. Thanks for watching, guys.